So you've got to think about when this animal goes for a drink. It's quite a remarkable, a remarkable thing. You think about the blood rushing to the animal's head. What is the function of the horn? Um, oh, shit, Glenn, 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 here on, at the ground, there's a cobra. There's a cobra here. There's a, sorry, guys, there's just a cape cobra right at our vehicle here, and I don't want it to go underneath the vehicle. Sorry, so I'm just going to move. Oh, shit. Can you see it there, Glenn? Oh, my word. <laughs> That's our stick from the other day, folks. That's why situational awareness in the bush is a very important thing. It came up on the side, and I just caught from the corner of my eye the scales shining. Oh, my heart. So that is definitely the same stick that we saw the other day at the hole. It's going back to the same hole. But how beautiful is that animal moving on the surface there? Just effortless, like it's gliding. Beautiful dark morph, Cape Cobra. I'm fairly excited as well, but on another level. Um, so just, I just stood up there just to deter the animal away from the vehicle. I didn't want to start the vehicle to scare it off. But my movements, you could see that, I don't know if you folks got that picture where it did raise its head and expand its hood. Um, I just didn't want to go out in the vehicle because if it ends up in the vehicle to get it out is a bit of a tricky um, obstacle. And then obviously you never want to hurt an animal. You know, it could go in between, you know, the wheel arch and the axle and it could get it hurt, could hurt itself so we wouldn't want that so just by me standing you know, I could see the movement and then from there it was deterred <gasps> but unbelievable <sighs> so um, this is the mating period for Cape Cobras right now and that's why in the past few days we've been seeing quite a lot of them and I'm surprised that this individual is going back to that same hole. Oh, my word. Everybody okay? <laughs> oh, unexpected. That's the beautiful thing about being in the bush. Everything is just un... It's unwritten, untold. It's just fresh and new all the time. So that will be uh, a nice information for Tilo, um, a gentleman that's busy working on junction with... Um, Tswalu Foundation and doing research on these magnificent creatures to understand a bit more about them. Because like I said, we hardly know nothing about them and they are a very widely distributed species of snake. And so better understanding their ecology and ethology is very important so that we can protect them. And that's what Tswalu Foundation is trying to do, is looking at multiple species within the Kalahari, but looking at the system, what is happening to the actual ecosystem itself. So once we've got the data, we can then push that forward to better protect it. <laughs>